I'm going to start now. Hi, can you tell me your names? My name is Maureen Day, I'm a project worker in the Young Disabled People's Forum. And? My name is Colin Floyd, I'm also a project worker in the Young Disabled People's Forum. Um, I'd like to get the name of the project uh, just right, so can you tell me just exactly what the name of the project is? The uh, project is the Young Disabled People's Forum, uh, and we work with young disabled people aged from 13 to 25 that live in the Manchester area. Uh, isn't there a similar forum that's doing a similar thing? What is this other one and how, you, how do you differ? There is another project uh, within GMCDP that also works with uh, young disabled people. Their age group is 15 to 25, but they work with young people from all over Greater Manchester, so it's all 10 boroughs uh, of Greater Manchester. And you're specifically Manchester? We're specifically Manchester only. Okay, thanks. Um, what's the, what are the aims of the project? Uh, well, firstly, we offer a regular forum that's once a month where young people come and meet up and talk about issues that affect their lives, uh, how, where we do some training with young people. Usually about, they give us the ideas and then we go away and write the, the sessions, or, although we do involve young people more and more in that um, process. Uh, we offer advocacy and information, one-to-one uh, -one support and group support. We go into We'll go into colleges and supporting people with college issues, uh, work issues, that sort of thing. Uh, volunteering work placement, we've had work placements from Loretto College and various other places. Uh, can you think um, We have regular meetings with um, decision makers, so key uh, members of um, statutory services in particular, where young disabled people have the opportunity. Uh, to speak out about the services that we've seen, hopefully, you know, with the intention of to influence that 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 service and to, and to improve upon it. A uh, recent example of that is work that we've done with the NSPCC. Uh, we've got young disabled people from the forum who are ambassadors for the NSPCC and have been down to London and advising the NSPCC on their service and policy and practice in order to improve and make more inclusive uh, the NSPCC service. They've also been involved in the Crown Prosecution Service as well in a disability hate uh, DVD and a handbook which is going to be used and is being used now in schools and colleges to educate um, and to inform people about the effects of disability hate crime on disabled people. Thank you, this all sounds very interesting. Could you tell me uh, approximately when you, all this began? The Young Disabled People's Forum has been um, running for about 18, 20 years now. Seems to have been the 80s. Yeah, it was late, late 80s. Um, and the projects have changed in some ways, but essentially it's always been about supporting young disabled people to become more independent and to take con control over their lives. And we do that by offering various services, as Colin's already mm -hmm. said. Um, primary uh, advocacy is a, is a predominant one at the moment, and we're getting more and more requests for uh, advocacy because of the cuts in services that are going on at the moment. Thanks. Um, so, tell me a little bit more about how the project affects the, the users and the community. I guess the, one of the thing, main things is uh, because we work along the social model of disability, getting young people to look at themselves as, as positive members of the community. It's uh, one of the major things we work on is confidence, uh, skills. Uh, getting young people uh, in a position where they can talk for themselves, speak up about the rights, and in turn that affects how they react with the families, the wider communities. Uh, we've also done a lot of stuff, I think, uh, in colleges and as well as in other groups, and we pass out all that information on. Uh, young people are involved in that process as well, so that's all passed on and hopefully it disseminates into the wider community. Excellent. Thank you very much.